Hi parents, Miss Emily here from the Learn and Play Montessori team. Spring is arriving and what a better theme to introduce some new and fun activities for you to try at home with your children. Follow this video for my five activity ideas, spring theme inspired. What a better way to introduce your spring theme with some sensory play. You can create a miniature soil garden, even throw some bugs inside for a sensory experience while you discuss the theme of spring. Simply fill a tin foil container or a tin foil tray with some potting soil. If you have some plastic bugs, rubber bugs, you can throw them inside along with some other insects. But if you do not have any practical real life toys, you can also just throw in some printouts that you have laminated. You can hide them amongst the soil and let your child discover them. Other items you could put in are some small pots, some spoons or ladles. You could even throw in some tweezers or chopsticks and give your children the challenge of finding the bugs inside the soil. While you're introducing this theme with your sensory play, you can talk about what other things might go into soil. For example, a seed. This can lead on to the idea of planting, what a plant might need to survive and grow. You could then even further this activity by planting your own seed and watching it grow as you look at your new theme, Spring. Of course, with Spring comes lots of flowers and this is a great time to talk about the different parts of a flower and a plant. Now it's really handy if you have some real life plants or flowers that you can look at. However, you can also buy some fake flowers and fake plants and have a look at these just as well as you can a real plant. Now a great activity for practicing some fine motor skills and some coordination is putting some plants or flowers into a colander. You can simply place a colander in front of your child and ask them to slot plants and flowers through the holes of the colander. You can pretend to arrange your own flower vase and see if you can fill all of the holes with flowers. Another great fine motor activity, which also extends onto maths and practices counting, you can also use it for addition and subtraction, is pegging leaves. Now for this activity, you can either use large, real leaves that you have written a number onto, or again, you may have some fake make-believe play leaves, which you can again, just write a number onto. You can place the leaf in front of your child and a bowl of pegs, and ask them to use their pincer grass to put the pegs onto the leaf, according to the number written in the center. Now, if you wanted to use this for addition, of course, you could choose two numbers. You will need to use your addition or your subtraction signs in between to make it look like a sum. And you can use the pegs for your child to count and help them figure out how much the equaling number will be. If you have collected some real leaves and you feel like you may be throwing them out once you've had a look at the different parts, do not keep those extra plants, flowers, leaves, even some roots if you have some. Simply put them into an empty ice tray, fill the ice tray with some water and pop them into the freezer overnight. The next day, your child can have a look at the frozen leaves. You can even turn this into a science experiment asking your child to sprinkle some salt over the ice cubes, or you can also practice again some fine motor control and strengthening using a spray bottle with warm water. You can help them to melt the ice cubes and discover which part of the plant was hidden inside the cube. Last of all, there are plenty art opportunities for the spring theme and 
you may want to decorate your house with all of these lovely flowering artworks. One great idea is to make a flower window mosaic. For this activity, all you will need is some black card that you will cut out into a flower shape. You will cut out the middle so that you just have a frame of the flower. You will also need some contact paper, which you will stick the frame of the flower onto. And again, you will cut around the outside so that all is left is a flower shape. You can then peel away the contact paper and you may decorate the sticky surface, the sticky middle of the flower. You may choose to use different paper material or you could even use some real flowers again, some petals and some leaves to stick onto the sticky surface. Once you're done, you can stick it up in the window and have a look at the beautiful flower display. Well, I hope this video has given you a few ideas of some spring themed activities that you can start using at home to introduce the idea of spring and the changing of seasons. Enjoy everyone, see you next time.